This is a guitar that many of you would not expect me to play. I've had it for a year now, so do I still like it or not? Let's listen to some tones, then we're going to talk about it. So this is the Music Man Mariposa. This is the signature model of Omar Rodriguez Lopez of Mars Volta, among many other things, including just his own work. Right off the bat, probably those of you who know my music are going to say it's absolutely nothing like his. He's a fantastic musician, worlds beyond me in many ways. So uh, that that's not any kind of, you know, oh, I don't play music like that. I, I don't mean it in that regard. I just don't play music like that. He's a superb musician and I can tell has a good ear and appreciation for guitar based on this one. So do I still like it? The short answer is yes. Why do I still like it? Why does this guitar suit me? Why does this guitar work for me? Even though it might be from an artist who is kind of in a, uh, just a much different camp than I am musically. Well, here are the things that I have really grown to like about this guitar that struck me from the beginning, but have continued to, let's just say the novelty hasn't worn off. I still really enjoy it. The first thing is how comfortable it is. And this is something that I've felt about Music Man guitars in general. It has a beautiful, comfortable neck that has a satin finish. I've always liked that they do the satin right up to the sort of stark gloss on the headstock. It just works for me. Impeccable fretboard edges and everything. Very, very comfortable to hold. and. I love that it's kind of an offset in a way. It almost evokes the idea of something. There's little bits of a Firebird. There's little bits of an Explorer. There's little bits of a Jazzmaster or Jaguar. But one of the things that's interesting about it is it's smaller, and so it's more comfortable. If you know those guitars that I just mentioned, you'll know that they're actually quite cumbersome guitars, even like the Jazzmaster. Of course, you know, something like the Firebird comes to mind. Even a jazz master is a little bit more cumbersome. This one is a bit smaller, but not in any sort of like mini guitar way. It's just a little bit more compact, so it sits more comfortably. And it kind of, you know, the, the way that the belly cut is and, and everything, it's just a very comfortable guitar. It's well balanced. It's great to play and to hold. Excellent choice of woods. Uh, Excellent pickups. I'm not going to get into the specs. I did that in my specific demo video that I did back when I first got this guitar, which you can watch. I'll put a link to that below. The pickups are high output pickups. They are aggressive pickups, but they don't lack character. That's a big thing for me. A lot of high output, high aggressive pickups out there just sound flat if you try and play them clean. These have a very nice frequency response. They have kind of a nice growl to them. They actually got slightly twangy in the mid position, which I like. It has this kind of unique mid circuit going on. Again, I'd point back to the video or go to the specs page to learn a little bit more about that. Of course, it's just a stunning instrument with the matching. I love matching headstocks. It's got the matching headstock and it has this really amazing, uh, amazingly ornate pick guard on it and everything. It stays in tune. Even when you use the tremolo, the vibrato, 
It's a vibrato, not a tremolo. It stays in tune even when you use the vibrato. Anyway, it's a well-crafted, well-built guitar that has great tone. Now, I also like that this kind of gives me something in the Les Paul realm tone-wise. It's not just a Les Paul sound, but it is a dual humbucking guitar. Dual humbucking solid body guitars will always be compared to Les Pauls to a certain extent or another. I like that it's kind of in that realm with its own thing going on. It does have some qualities that are a little bit more Fender-esque, but I like that it's giving me a dual humbucking guitar that sounds great, that has a tremolo, that's comfortable, all kind of in one package. It's like, it very much is a uh, best of many worlds guitar. Also just great in its simplicity. You know, three-way switch, two knobs and everything in the tremolo. Of course, it's got the locking tuners. It, it's a joy to play. It's a joy to pick up and to hold. It's got great tone. I will actually say that even like, you know, my drummer Rob wants me to play this instead of other guitars. This is a guitar where I appreciate the ergonomics of it. I appreciate the functionality of it. I appreciate that it is just a finely crafted musical instrument. And it's definitely one that I would recommend. Now, it is an expensive guitar, but there is a Sterling version of it associated with Music Man. So you can get the Sterling Mariposa, which right now is coming in at $549. Much less expensive, still a great guitar. So that's a great option for somebody who's looking at wanting to try out one of these, but uh, either doesn't have the money to, to shell out for the Music Man model, or might be kind of on the fence about it. That would be a great one to check out. So that's the biggest thing for me to say, to kind of round that all out, to say about this guitar is that the novelty hasn't worn off, right? Because sometimes when you play something that's a little bit different, it's a little off the beaten path, you get all into it for a while, and then it's just, no, whatever. It's, you know, you're, you're done with it, and it's... This one, the, the novelty hasn't worn off, I think because everything about it seems to have been designed for such a thoughtful reason. You can just tell by the balance, you can tell by the feel and everything, you can tell by the tone that this is a well thought out, well built instrument. So today I'm playing into my Mesa Boogie Nomad, I'm on channel 1 for the cleans, I'm on channel 3 for the overdrive. The reverb is not working in that amp, so I'm using a Wampler Reflections into the effects loop for the tones that you're hearing. I'm going to play around on some of the tones that I find particularly inspiring on this guitar. Let us know in the comments, have you tried the Music Man Mariposa, have you tried the Sterling one. I'll put a link to the Sterling one in the description just in case any of you are interested in trying that out. Do you play another Music Man guitar? Of course, some of the more common ones are going to be the Music Man Cutlass. Of course, the Silhouette has been around out and around for years, the Axis. There's a lot of great Music Man guitars. They've come out with a lot of really cool new guitars. I do feel like this one has gotten kind of overshadowed. I feel like this one hasn't... I haven't seen this one out and about quite as much as things like the Valentine guitar or the St. Vincent guitar, or some of the other ones that have come out. But boy, is this a great guitar, and I would highly recommend checking one out if you get the opportunity to. So let's listen to some more tones. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Follow the link below to listen to some music if you want to hear some of these guitars that I have on studio recording. I use this gear to record music. Check it out. Follow me on Spotify where you can hear it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.